from Wish TV, your local news source. This is breaking news. Bathroom door. Up the stairs to Bayview Dental Arts. There's the garage. Yeah. I got my good buddy David here. Wow. Breaking right now at 10 o'clock, Hurricane Ian has continued its treacherous damage to the state of Florida, but now has weakened to a Category 2. Residents are dealing with mass flooding, power outages, and strong wind gusts reaching at 1 155 miles per hour. Gloria Pasmita reports in Tampa with the latest on the storm. Hurricane Ian slamming Florida's Gulf Coast with near Category 5 strength, causing life-threatening flooding. Overwhelmingly, it's been that surge that has been the, the, the biggest issue uh, and the flooding. The monster storm making landfall with winds of 150 miles per hour. I've been here since the mid-70s. This is actually by far the worst storm I have ever seen. I, I can tell you I'm looking at the businesses downtown that are all flooded, windows blown now. Even before the worst of the storm hit, people in Fort Myers already seeing mass flooding. The storm surge is very significant. We're actually seeing uh, cars and, and boats float down the street. In some areas, the storm surge could reach life-threatening levels of near 18 feet. Hurricane force winds bringing down power lines. Ahead of the storm, long lines on interstates as residents scramble to evacuate. Some choosing to stay behind and ride it out. I've got my safe room ready. We have a second bathroom uh, with no windows. Uh, I've got a bed in there. I've got the dog food, water, the bathtub is full. Governor Ron DeSantis submitting a request for a major disaster declaration for all 67 counties, which allows the federal government to send funds for cleanup. In Tampa, I'm Gloria Pasmino reporting.